Proclamation Proclamation declare that as of the date of its issuance, January 1st, 1863, all the slaves in the states that were still in rebellion against the Union would be forever free. All throughout his life, Lincoln had known, as he said, that if slavery were not wrong, nothing was wrong. The problem was, as he saw from the time he was a young lawyer, that the Constitution, in his view, protected slavery in the states where it already existed. So he was in a quandary all through the 1850s and the early 60s. Even within the North, there was not a majority opinion at that time that emancipation should be a goal of the Union. And it was a fear, actually, that soldiers would not fight if it were for emancipation. He finally began, having wrestled with this problem for months, to realize that even if he couldn't get at it through a congressional law, that he could possibly reach slavery through his commander-in-chief powers, his war powers. And what he was able to understand was that the slaves were being used by the Confederates to dig trenches, to build fortifications, as teamsters, as cooks, as hospital attendants. And in all those ways, they were helping the Confederate cause and hurting the Northern cause. If he could emancipate the slaves as part of his war powers, as a way of strategically helping the Union win the war, then he could reach at it finally. He was very happy to have come to that formulation. Lincoln brings his cabinet officers together and he tells them, I have made a decision about what I am going to tell you. I will listen to your suggestions, perhaps, about timing and minor implementations of it, but the decision is already made. And the one suggestion that most importantly he was willing to accept came from his Secretary of State, Seward, who suggested that if he were to issue the proclamation that July, at a time when they just had these terrible reverses in the field, it would look like an act of desperation and look like perhaps a retreat from the purposes of the war. So instead he said, wait until the eagle of victory comes. And Lincoln thought that was right. He waited until September when Antietam came, the victory that allowed him to issue it without it seeming like an act of desperation. I have a question. Sure. Um, I don't understand what they were saying, like, the slaves were helping, who were they helping? They were helping our soldiers, or, like, when they said they were building the trenches and all that? Like, when they were being used. Talking about the slaves were being used. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, like, we were, who, was, who was the North? Is that us, or? Yes. North is, is um, if you're thinking about, like, Ohio, New York, a lot of Massachusetts, Illinois, Indiana, stuff like that, right? When you're talking south, you go down in like Tennessee, Virginia, North Carolina, yeah. Georgia, Alabama, a lot of your farming uh, part of the country. Why do you think, I guess, um, the two sides were divided? If you're looking back and you think about the north, you remember what the big industry was in the north? What's our big industry now? And we're, I mean, we live outside of Flint, Michigan, so what's it? Auto. GM. But factories, right? Yeah. So a lot of that all through the East Coast and everything was all factory work, okay? When you go down south, though. Is it like farming? Farming. So why were the slaves so important to the farmers? Because they didn't have that many people to work. And they yeah, think of the massive pieces of land. Who had to work the land? Slaves. Slaves. So you had very few owners, but you had hundreds and thousands of Slaves, right? So how, if slavery was abolished, how would you? They how, wouldn't make any money because they wouldn't have people to The hardest to right. So here's a few things that, um, if you, this were kind of mentioned in the video, and I'd like to recap them. Does anybody know what emancipation is? Is it? Isn't that the power of? No, yeah. It's the power of? Proclamation is the. Something. Like you sign or whatever, I don't know. It's the it's, uh, like legal definition of setting something free, okay? Do you know what a proclamation is? Proclamation is like a, a big declaration. So emancipation basically is, was a real famous speech or, um, that Lincoln made proclaiming that at a certain date he was going to set the slaves free. Kind of in the video when they mentioned, remember, not all people in the North were kind of back him at that point, right? Yeah. So he was worried about how he would kind of get this uh, push through, or how he would get his soldiers to fight for it. And why did he wait? What was he waiting for? It mentioned in the video. Wait. Remember Antietam? Antietam was a big battle, and so 
once we won oh, that yeah, big battle. Oh, yeah. It's like when you're winning on a softball team or if, like, if I'm coaching you guys and I'm winning, I'm going to be harder on you because I'm going to push it to be more, right? Yeah. Get more. If we're losing, morale is kind of down, so then I kind of got to pull back the reins and wait for that small victory, right? Yeah. Morale is a big thing, so even morale with his troops. If, if, he, if the troops thought that he was leading them in the right direction, he could continue to keep leading. Yeah. Okay? What about uh, cabinet? How, how was that uh, defined in that little short video? Remember who the cabinet was? The, the old dude. The well, there was a bunch of old dudes. Old. No, that's fine. Cabinet. cabinet is, it's kind of your board of advisors. Remember when I said when you're making big decisions, you kind of want to reflect with your teammates? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the school board, like don't you guys, like, I miss telling them, well, they usually all talk together about certain I guess, stuff. I guess, yeah, school board would kind of be a like good way to reference it. He said it. that he already made his dis decision, but he, he wants to be back. it with everyone else and get it, like, but they, I don't know. He wanted their input. Yeah, yeah. So right. but he, like you said, it's already made like yeah. a decision, but I still want to hear what you guys have to think about it. Yeah. And then, he remember, the, and then he took the one guy's yeah, opinion, right? right? Yeah. And then that's what led him to wait until after Antinum before he went ahead and uh, made the declaration, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good deal. Does anybody know what a uh, abolitionist is? I've heard of it. Um, yeah. I've heard the word sounds familiar. It's basically when you're um, trying to get rid of something, and actually, what were they trying to get rid of here? Yep. Slavery in general, right? Did they put? Did they make slave soldiers? On the yeah. on the north, yeah, there was a lot of uh, you know African American or black soldiers. In the south, there was not. Oh, okay. So, 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 so south was where it was mainly slavery. Because yeah. like, north didn't want. Slavery, That's where you had a lot of racial divide, though, too. Yeah. See, that is I mean, still like that, ain't it? It's still, they just oh, still yeah. struggle with it. That's what people tell me. Okay. And looking at this slide, why was uh, Lincoln so important in our country's history? He freed slavery. Are you Freed slavery, but what, uh, what was the large war that was fought over slavery? Do you remember what war that was? Civil War? Correct. Oh, right! Correct. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. should be a little more confident. Well, I didn't want to say it. Well, no. there's not a lot of wars that we actually fought on our territory, right? Yeah. I mean, when we fought wars, we went to Europe or Asia and fought those. I just remember Lincoln being a part of the Civil War. <laughs> what was the war about? Slavery. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the two sides in the war? North and South. North and South, yes. Three for three. Okay, um, why was the war so important to the southern landowners? Because they, they lost their the slaves. They have no more money. Correct. So wait, was why it would they, they lose money? Because they wouldn't harvest crops. Correct. But was it like, okay, did like, before they fought, then they could say like, if we win this battle, your slaves are free. But if we don't, you still get to keep them? Uh, that was never an option. He wasn't going to tell them that we were ever going to lose war. When we win the war, slavery is about us, right? Oh, okay. Okay, so... But you still have all these people down there, right? You have hundreds of thousands of people down there free. What do they do then? Where are all these people going? It's not like you could jump in a car, and they have cars back then. So what did, what did they think they were going to do? Who, the slaves? Slaves, yeah. They probably thought they were going to stay. So, they wouldn't have, like, they so slave owners would still have people to work, because people would need to work to, to gain food and stuff like that. But why do you think the slave owners still wanted to keep them as slaves? Because they could leave whenever freely whenever they they could. They could do that. But what do you, when you're an employer at work, you guys all want to get jobs and stuff. What do they do when you go to work? What do you go to work for? Money. Money, right? Well, they have to pay them. So, say I've got this big pot of gold, right? Because yeah. I don't have to pay nobody. I throw them a little food and that's it. Now I have to come out and give them a salary. Didn't think back then there was no minimum wage. So they were paying them peanuts anyway. I mean, basically, right? But it would still, that big pot of gold maybe wouldn't be as full, right? Because it would cut into the profits, and that's what they were scared of. Like, like oh wait, so they, so southern landowners, they would still keep the slaves after they were free, but then they would have to pay them out. Well, they wouldn't keep them as slaves; they would be free people. Oh. But it was another form of slavery. Think about it: when there's no minimum wage, summer I pay you one penny a day. I'll pay Alexi a nickel a day, and I'll pay you know absolutely five five hours a day because oh. she's a supervisor or something. You know, I mean those are obviously ridiculous, but you can see where. $5 a day or a penny a day, I mean, you can't eat off that. And 
Here's another thing. They're still not educating them. Right? When you think about it, when you're slave, you didn't have the right to read. You couldn't read, you know. So, and these kids are out in the field. There's no laws about kids working, so they stick the kids out in the field. So what kind of really life are they having? Was it a good life at all? No. I remember mm -hmm. reading something about Harriet Tubman. I don't know if that was back then, but it was no, like that, a was, that was actually in the 50s. Yeah. Oh, so it was after before then? After then. Oh. Do you know what time the war was? No. It was in the early 1860s. Really? 1860s, correct. I thought it was the 90s. Or not 90s, no, and 19s. I meant the 90s. <laughs> Cut that out. Make sure you don't put that on there. I don't want to sound dumb. <laughs> Too late. Okay. What I wanted to have you guys do, and this is just kind of me checking to make sure that um, you guys have learned something. Can Summer, can you give me one of the uh, definary vocabulary words and describe it in your own terms? And the words would be like emancipation, proclamation, cabinet. Um. I, I put down the emancipation one that you said, but I put exactly what you put. So give it to me in your own terms then. Um, I don't know if words. Because you did it pretty good. I put legal thing of setting something free. That's what you said. That's fine. All right. I should do the same thing. Take one of the other words. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to. Abolish? Abolish? <laughs> I guess abolitionist? Yes. Yeah. Like they get rid of something. <laughs> Okay. And in this case, they get rid of slavery. Or they're working towards something, yeah. Madison? Uh, I discussing something in a group. Like, as a group, right? Yeah. And why do you think it's so important to discuss things as a group? Well, to so get everyone's yeah, input. Yes, then you don't get all the attitudes. Well, I don't really know if guys get attitudes one another and how people react back then, but people get in fights with one another. They don't like one You have everyone's say into the situation. Guys, at any time, one of us. We're always going to, we're, well, we will all at one time or another be put in leadership role, okay? Yeah. So think about this. You have to be smart enough to know that you don't know everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like with me, okay? Me and Mr. Lentz, we kind of run the school, and, and, you know, we know a lot about a lot of things because we've been here a long time, mm -hmm. okay? But when it comes down to new things, or, you know, for instance, we're switching over from the ACT to the SAT, correct? Yeah. Oof, that's a lot of work. Yeah. And we don't know everything. I think we had a pretty good routine going with the ACT, but now with the SAT, it switched a lot of things up. So you just got to be able to lean on people that are going to be more of an expert in that area. You know, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, maybe they don't want to be in a leadership role, but you still want to take their opinion into account. Okay? You can't have two big testing, like take other people's advice. And I don't think if you're ever trying to be a leader and you do that, I think all that does is hold you back because, you know what, people will go, yeah, right. Yeah. That person doesn't know what they're talking about. Exactly. Right? Okay. What about, let me ask you a few things that uh, go back over the video and just kind of what we've been talking about the last few minutes. What, um, where was Lincoln born at again? No. Illinois. 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 <laughs> you guys, when I was in the Marine Corps and you guys say Illinois, I did the same thing. Don't Illinois. pronounce it. Yeah, don't pronounce the S. They used to get on me hard. Why? It's just, they're from there, they know more than I, and um, yeah, Illinois. Illinois, yeah. So, and uh, what was he again, what did he do for work before he became a lawyer? lawyer. <laughs> and um, how, how did he, uh, what happened to him, how did he pass away? Yeah, he got assassinated by John Wilkes Booth, got shot in the head at a theater. You the Ford Plate. Yes, Ford Plate. Theater. I know you you guys question. remember, like, who killed him? What you well, know? Had to do a kill, I don't remember. But you couldn't remember like what he did before. I don't even remember who killed him. Well, them. they did. Yeah, John Wilkes Booth was pretty famous, so yep. that was in the Ford Theater. They were in. I watched uh, on National Treasure. Treasure. Was, was he still president when they got assassinated? No. Uh, yeah, he was. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. His, yeah, he was. His, yeah, he was. Um, I don't think he got assassinated. The thing in the book says. You remember? Yeah, you have to remember his wife's name? Or eighteen? Uh, don't tell me. I think I do. Is it with the L? So What's it start L? with? M. Marianne? No. Mary? Mary, but they always pronounce it with her middle name, Mary Todd. That always sticks oh, out to me because my brother, right? Oh, yeah, Todd. Yeah, so kind of unforgettable. Um, what are some other things you think you might want to know about him? Um, don't you have a kid? Don't he have sons? sons? He had numerous uh, children, but um, most of them passed away as youth. Was it all? Um, 
Why? Just sicknesses. Hmm. You know, they didn't have vaccinations. Was that the same woman? I believe so. See, I always hear. Well, people didn't really get divorced back then, right? Yeah, that's true. Why, why did, was he called on his name again? All yeah. the time? Did you know that um, he had uh, like mental issues too before he was in the office? Really? Mm -hmm. Why did he want to Like be depression and stuff. Why did he want to be president? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know to be honest with you. I think a lot of the depression stuff okay. though, that the mental issues they had were, were because of losing his children and stuff. You know, where you out. So. I, I, TR told me something about didn't he get like, I can't remember, something about somebody got Why did that dude want to He got shot, but I thought there was something else that happened to him when he got assassinated. It wasn't just getting shot. No. That was pretty much it. Uh, a lot of people do things like that to be, um, for notoriety. You know, they want to be well known. So. I remember. He shot himself after he killed Ava Kennedy. No, I thought he got but caught. He died. And he died. He caught. Yeah. You're there thinking of Kennedy assassination. Yeah, I remember that. Is that when he jumped off the thing and broke his leg or something like that? Who am I thinking of? You're when someone got of, someone got assassinated. National Treasure. It shows in National Treasure. They believe getting shot. Good movie. Okay. Well, again, thanks. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, that's it. Hopefully, you learned something today. Yeah. You think you learned anything? Yeah, I learned what emancipation proclamation and all that mean. That words. Well, Wait, did you say proclamation? No, the, it was like something that like... Yes, like proclamation is like pronouncing, you know, a new law or yeah. something, you know. Are you saying yep. that yep. abolitionist? Yeah. Abolitionist. Mm -hmm. And then emancipation is, you know, freeing of the slaves. So that was, his, you know, his big speech. And that's what led to the Civil War. So, okay? Okay. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah.